Wonderful friends, thank you for joining me again in MySpace. My name is Phil, and the good thing about everything that we will do here today, you can try yourselves at home. In fact, you can amaze, astound, and impress people with what I am going to show you today. But the first thing that I would like to show you, actually I'm gonna go and get a little bit of help with, with my trusty assistant, Phil. Hey Phil, give that a blow there, will you? Yeah, sure. Here we go. This is really hard. This is impossible. In fact, it's actually impossible. <laughs> oh, it actually is. Why am I wasting my time then? But you're helping, Phil. Yeah. Okay, so it is actually impossible because try to blow this up, and it's me sharing, so it's fine. You, you can't do unless you have special training. Science training. Technology training. Bottle training. <gasps> and you will see that not only am I able to inflate the balloon, I'm able to keep it inflated and I can pass things inside the top of it and it will still stay inflated. Unless I use my mind, tr another science trick where we kind of go. Smaller, smaller, smaller. Smaller shrink. Yeah. And today's lesson is all about telekinesis and the power of the mind, power of the mind. No, it's not. It's about science. This is a trick that you can use to show people. The one that I gave Phil, that, <laughs> he's a bit of an idiot sometimes. This one is a bottle with a balloon in it. This one is a bottle with a balloon in it, but it also has three little holes, which I've made with this little pin down here. So I've made three little holes. So when I blow in, the air that's inside here gets pushed out. So when you're trying to blow something in here, the air has nowhere else to go. So you're trying to push against your lungs against an impossibility. So see where the holes are? There's my hole, so I have them here. I put my finger to the side of it, I blow. The air is gonna get pushed into the balloon, which is gonna push the air out, which is gonna be able to inflate. But then when I put my finger over the holes, there's no air to go back into the bottle. So it's stuck like a vacuum. And this is exactly what a vacuum is. Air's pushed out, finger over holes, no air can go in. So balloon stays inflated, watch. Finger over holes, but nothing's not gonna ever. You put your finger in, it's gonna stay inflated unless you take your finger off and use your mind. Simple little trick, but a clever one using science. And this kind of stuff inspired me to show you another little experiment. And this one has to do with getting something inside a bottle because an egg inside a bottle. Now, vacuums are very powerful types of things and they're actually I mean, used to lift things, hold things in place, but also spaces a vacuum because it has a lack of air. So what we're gonna try and do with this is we're gonna take an egg, we are going to put some candles, some birthday candles that we got from Skelly's birthday uh, a couple of weeks ago. It was his 109th. Uh, we're gonna put them inside and we're going to light them. Now you will need help, parental guardian help to be able to do this. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of oil, which is gonna act as a lubricant, which makes things slip over each other easier. So I put some oil on that, so oil on our egg to make it a little bit easier but if I put this egg on top it will not go in so even if I push it it will not go in so what I'm going to do is I'm going to light these candles and then I'm going to put the bottle on top and the hot air is going to get pushed outside of the uh, of the bottle and then hopefully because that when the candles go out because it's used up all of the oxygen then because there's less pressure on the inside and more pressure on the outside it should get sucked back up inside so this is about pressure so let's try so we're going to first light, light this and start saying happy birthday to eggs ready so I'm going to put this on top now, oh, one, no, this is still gone. So I'm gonna put them on top. I'm just gonna hold it in place. I'm not gonna push it. So the candles are gonna go out and watch. Ha <laughs> ha, great success. So the pressure that was on the outside was greater than what was on the inside. So that's why it got sucked in. Now, now that's what's happened is I have a, an, an egg stuck inside a bottle. 
have a think about it. Think about how could we get this egg? Because the pressure on the outside was greater and then it was less on the inside, so the egg got sucked in. What could we do? We could do the opposite. We could try and create the pressure inside being greater and the one outside less. And this is where I need to blow into this like I did with the bottle layer on to create higher pressure on the inside and lower outside so the egg should come out. Now this is, again, a little bit difficult, but we're gonna try. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. And, come on, egg has returned. Thank you, great applause, great success. Little bit of simple science that you can try at home with a bottle, a balloon, an egg, some candles. Try it out, send us in your videos to rte.ie or learn and like with a little bit of pin, you can fool your friends and, and maybe even, you know, make bets to whatever else, but it's always science. Magic is just science you haven't figured out yet. Ta-da and congratulations and thank you for joining. Bye.